Hi everyone, today I want to present you the Apple philosophy, an idea that is very helpful to be aware of. That is to say, when we go to shop for apples, we don't carry an actual apple with us, or even a photographic memory of an apple, rather we carry idea of it in shape, size, color and smell. And by that we recognize apple in their various shapes and sizes. So too, when we eat when we eat the apple, it's the sensation and feeling of it that we enjoy, not merely the fact that we're eating it. Better if, it's, if the word of thought and the word of material are two sides of a coin, or two different things combined, or one is caused by the other, it is a subject of the debate among many philosophers, religions, and scientists, which I promise to explain in depth in another video. But today, I would like to provide you with some ideas as to how understanding that we exist both in body and mind helps us in life, in relationships, business, and marketing. Number one, since we are governed by the world of thought, perception and, be perception and belief of a reality are, are as important, if not more important than reality itself, as there are always multiple realities, imaginary realities about each situation. How we choose to perceive and believe is how we live. Therefore, when we want to remedy a bad or a sad feeling, we must amend the thought and redirect the perception. Because feelings are also a mode of thought, although they might be automated. And we don't need to be a therapist to do that. Number two, since we are governed by the word of thought, illusion and confusion could be natural. It is natural for the biased human mind to confuse activity with progress. For example, when we are presented with a challenge or a conflict with another person, we might respond with first instinct or emotion as we think in the realm of thought that it will solve the problem because we perceive that we did something extraordinary, therefore we perceive we are solving the situation. But such a thing usually worsens the situation unless thought through, measured and measured against reality. Number three, perception in marketing. We should never sell a product but the perception of it and the belief of it, what that service or products brings to life. Like imagine Coke, they sell the perception of happiness and not merely a drink. Don't, don't, do not go in a market just on the merit of a price. Find a unique reality about your products or business or services and sell that perception. Or make your clients aware of a problem they have and then offer the solution for it. With that, I wish you happy thoughts till next time we meet. You gon' get it back, like if you felt good.